Hello and welcome again on this fourth week of Lent, Tuesday the 24th of March. Uh, you may be following the scriptures at home, following the Gospels anyway, which would be a really good thing to do because it's as if those Gospels at the moment are being written for us now, for, for here, today. They're so appropriate. My goodness, how things change. I've had to re-record my reflection because it was going to be about how wonderful it is to get out in the sunshine. Despite all the stuff that's going on, at least we can enjoy the fresh air and get out there. And that was before we were told to stay at home. So anyway, we thank God for the weather. It certainly helps, even if we are staying at home. In the Gospel today, so Jesus says to this sick man, do you actually want to be healed? It's just, it, to those who have been gathering close together in parks and in gardens and on beaches these last few days, not respecting the social distancing, it makes you wonder, do you actually want to get through this? Do you really want to be healed? Then be responsible. We'll all feel sympathy for the man in the gospel today, the sick man. I mean, after all, he's been ill for 38 years. But he's a strange character in some ways. When Jesus says, do you want to be healed again? The man replies, well, yes, but... And then he goes on to make ex excuses. Yes, but I have no one to help me to get to the waters. But someone always gets there before me. But this, but that. Plenty of excuses. And Jesus cuts through all that and he says to him, get up, pick up your sleeping mat and walk. And the man just does that. He gets up, he picks up his mat and begins to walk. Later, when the Jews asked the man who had cured him, the man replied he didn't know his name. He hadn't even be bothered to ask the name of the one who had healed him. Jesus teaches us something here about taking responsibility for our actions and to have courage, have a bit of moral fibre ourselves. We are often capable of doing so much more than even we think we are. With respect to this uh, virus situation, yes, we want to be healed. We want to get through it and as quickly as possible. No need for excuses or to blame anyone else. Let's take responsibility for ourselves, take responsibility for our actions and be considerate of others, as well as ourselves. And actually that's a good rule for life, not just for this present situation. That The Lord Jesus is there. He's always with us, every step of the way. He walks with us to strengthen us, to guide us, and to inspire us. But let's not forget to shoulder our own cross, to take responsibility for our own actions, and to be considerate of others. God bless you.